Hey there, today we are at Mincala Road and I'm going to run up Plateau. Uh, today was supposed to be Learn to Winter Hike here in the Catskills. Uh, I'm going to start these monthly clinics and between illness and weather, people bailed. So I'm not doing that today, but I figured I would film what I was planning on doing today uh, on the Learn to Winter Hike. So I'll take you along. Today I'm climbing Plateau from the end of Mink Hollow Road. Um, this section, which is behind me, is not an officially marked trail on your map set, but it is on Forest Preserve, it is public access. It's listed as a dotted line, not maintained, but it's a quick way up Plateau. It's steep, it's not easy. And from this approach, you have one creek crossing here behind me. It is rather high for this time of year. Well, actually this time of year, it's frozen solid. You walk right over it. Um, with melting snow and all the rain we've had, it's pretty high. I was able to rock hop, but it was dicey. Um, so if you were planning on hiking this particular section of trail, you may have to take your shoes off for something like this. So just keep in mind, when you look at your map set for trails, count how many creek crossings you have. And if it's listed as a blue line on your map, it's usually notable in size and can go up and down rather quickly. Um, and after heavy rain, snow melt, etc. So just be wary of that because our Catskill Creeks can go up and down very quickly. It's January 4th. There's hardly any snow on the ground and I am hiking in a t-shirt. I'm hot. It's 60 degrees. It's, <laughs> it's very strange. Very, very strange. Um, our climate is just all over the place. I know we have warm days and we have cold days in summer and winter, but this is not normal to have 60, like this. Um, crazy. Uh, get outside, make a difference, fight climate change. All right, there's my PSA for the day. Um, about 0.2 miles in, you start climbing. Pretty, it's pretty, pretty good grade up to the, the notch. And that's where the lean-to is. We'll stop there and check in. I'm climbing plateau from Mink Hollow Road up to Mink Hollow Shelter or hiking the Devil's Path. Mink Hollow Shelter is uh, usually a first night uh, is doing this as a backpack trip. It's a good goal to get to. This is your water source for that shelter behind me here. Um, there are actually two close to the shelter. There is one uphill and there's one downhill about the same distance to either. So Either way you cut it to get to water, you're going down and up at least once. Um, Devil's Path has a tendency to be very dry, but it's a good place to fill up even for a day hike so you don't have to carry as much water. Uh, highly recommend always filtering your water here in the Catskills. Giardia is present here. It's an intestinal, it's not, it's not a fun day. So you don't want that. I always carry a water filter. Uh, winter time, a little bit difficult to carry a water filter because it freezes, so I use like iodine tablets uh, to treat the water. At about a half mile, that old road, shown as a dotted black line on your map, takes you up to Mink Hollow, to this junction. This is the junction with the Devil's Path. Red discs. There's Plateau behind us. If we spin around this way, there's Sugarloaf. Uh, just a reminder, if you go this way, up Sugarloaf, in the winter, rope, always, and full crampons. People say, oh, it's okay with spikes. Crampons, full crampons, dig in deep so you don't slip. Because if you do this in the winter, you will understand what this means. Safety first. After that trail junction, if you continue on straight, you come to Mink Hollow Lean To, the base of Plateau in the Notch Mink Hollow. Good place for a break snack. If you're doing the devil in a day, it's a good uh, quarter of the waypoint to recharge. Coming up from the parking lot in Mink Hollow where I parked for this climb, uh, it's, good, uh, it's a good rest spot. Uh, you gain a lot of elevation on that half mile. And so 
I am sweating <laughs> in January. And I'm like, I should have wore shorts, which is crazy to even consider. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a quick break here and um, start the big climb. We'll take you along. And arriving at the shelter, the first thing I see. Oh God, people. Principle three, leaving a trace. Dispose of waste properly. And I know a lot of times this falls out of pockets, etc. So as an outdoor enthusiast, watching this video, I'm sure you are an outdoor enthusiast. Uh, let's do our part and let's just pack it out. Here in the Catskills, throughout the park at a lot of our shelters, we have Catskill Brim. It's basically a restroom in the woods. Um, not every shelter has one. Usually, hopefully there's a sign pointing to it. Um, but if you're at a shelter, there's a privy, please try to use it. Um, disposing of waste properly, principle three. Also, not just trash, but human waste. So if we're doing number one or number two in the woods, we need to do appropriately. We'll do that appropriately. So if you gotta do number two, gotta dig a hole. And you wanna do that away from water and away from the trail. Um, and if you're doing number one and you gotta use toilet paper, your options are carried out. Or if you're like, I can't do that, I can't do it. Again, just like number two, bury your waste. Get it down in the duff and it will biodegrade. Just leaving it on the surface, ugh, it's not good. And if anyone wants to understand the why we don't want to do this, next time you're on the summit of Wittenberg, behind you, you look at the view and to your back, there's woods. Walk in there and just walk around a little bit and you'll see what I'm talking about. I should also add, if you're at a privy and you go to leave, make sure you lock it. We don't want animals going in there because porcupines have been known to eat a privy in the Catskills. We don't want that. They're expensive to make. Okay, break over plateau we're coming for you and i know people may be asking where's jeff normally the hiker trash husbands do this together notice my hat catskill center well jeff this is a wednesday is working today preserving and protecting this beautiful place we call the catskill park uh we make a good team and even though i'm not an employee of the catskill center i'm a volunteer steward of the catskills hence my hat Every summer we have stewards here in the Catskills that work at Blue Hole, Catterskill Falls, Platte Clove, and the Devil's Path, educating the public on proper hiker etiquette and proper use of the outdoors. After leaving the notch, <laughs> Plateau waits no time. Uh, for anyone that's ever done the Devil's Path, in my, I kind of call this Heartbreak Hill. When you're doing all 24 miles as an ultra or even as a backpack, even if it's not in a single day, when you're carrying all that weight, climbing up plateau, it's one of those climbs you kind of regret your life's decision. <laughs> um, but it's just, it's beautiful. You know, on days like today, it's a short, steep climb. I can just take my time and really look around. And because there's no snow right now, leaves off the trees, topography, you get to see all these cliff bands. It's really cool. And I'm in a tank top on January 4th and there's no snow on the ground and I'm in hiking boots. Something is seriously wrong. Beautiful, I mean, it's nice hiking in 60 degree weather. And I'm, I should have wore shorts. Literally, I should have wore shorts. I'm gonna have chafing. <laughs> like I get a July in January. <laughs> Sweating good. And all I hear is running water on this beautiful quiet day. Listen. We finally started to see some some snow and ice. You know what that means. These are Catula microspikes. Go on the bottom of your shoe, rubber band. It's a little grip on them. They sell all types online, but the gear linkage a lot of times are really crappy and they break instantly. So um, no aluminum, 
and you want like something that's steel. So Catula and Hill Sound are my top two picks for micro spikes. Um, yeah, they cost some money, but they will last you many, 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 many hikes. But once you start seeing that, don't go without the traction because getting up is a piece of cake. How you gotta get down that if you're just in boots. And we're climbing. Up a thousand feet. Actually, I think it's 1200 feet elevation gain in a mile. So I've been going back and forth between spikes and no spikes. There'd be a big patch of ice, so I put them on to go across the ice, take them off because mostly roots. Um, a fun fact that you may not know, hiking from Mink Hollow up to the summit of Plateau, quarter of the way up, you cross into first growth forest. Uh, first growth forest meaning never been logged, never been burned, never really been touched by human hands, except the devil's path goes through it. But look at this old, big old spruce tree. Big. Thor, that type of tree. That's a big one. They don't usually, it's probably at the end of its life. But uh, what's cool about Catskills is a lot of the summits are first growth. So the forest is as nature intended. At 3,835, we have reached the summit of Plateau, indicated by this little orange disc. <laughs> Another fun trivia fact people have asked often, why aren't there signs on the summit to indicate that you're there, like West Kill? Well, we used to, here in Catskills, put signs on all the true summits on a trail, or all the summits that are on trail of each peak. People took them down as souvenirs. Um, a lot of our summits are close to a trailhead, so carrying the sign for three miles is not as difficult as say carrying it for six miles in the Adirondacks. So GC just gave up. They kept hanging them, they got taken. Hanging, they got taken. So West Hill is the last remaining one. Though I haven't used it yet today. I keep this in my backpack, like 365 days a year. It goes in the outside, stricky pouch. It's just 50 feet, lightweight, I think three eighths rope. It's not official climbing rope. I'm not using it for that purpose, but I like to have 50 feet of rope as an assist for descents with ice, descents with snow, descents in snowshoes that are wicked slippery, you know, when it gets mashed potato snow, slippery leaves, just as something to hold on to so you don't wipe out. Um, it makes life so much easier having rope with you. Trust me, once I started carrying it, I'm like, why didn't I do this sooner? A lot of times the down is much harder than the up. So Plateau is one of those mountains that a lot of people can get up it. They're like, yeah. And then they don't anticipate or realize what the descent is actually going to be like. So keep in mind as you're going uphill, especially on an out and back, you're coming back the same way you went up. A lot of times going down, it's much harder than going up, especially in snow and ice. As you can see here, got the spikes on, taking it slow. That exciting moment when you can see the truck. Back at the truck. So I didn't film a lot on the way down, like I said before. Um, I sort of focused on making sure each step had purpose so I didn't slide on the little bit of ice and snow there was. And um, it's easier to stop on the way up. And so focused on that, but end of Mink Hollow Road, we made it back. Great day. Great day in the woods. Keep the Catskills adventures going and join us on Catterskill High Peak.